day here in Alabama. There is a labor shortage and restaurants are being hit hard by it. I stopped by Slide Cafe in downtown Birmingham to see how they're navigating this challenge. Actually had someone resign yesterday. The labor shortage in Alabama is taking its toll. There's two orders on business owners like Raquel Lindsay. Is mm -hmm. the labor shortage putting you in a situation where the business is not happy at all? <laughs> of course. As the owner and executive chef of Slide Cafe in Birmingham, she's on the front lines of the state's labor shortage. I'm hustling through a lunch, lunch shift with two people in the kitchen, my wife up front. <laughs> So we're making it work, but realistically, this is a four man operation back here minimum. Lindsay says increasing overhead and food costs is killing her business. She believes that it's also hurting her ability to retain employees. So you can't offer the consistent hours. You can't offer the 401k. You can't offer the medical benefits. And I feel like that's kind of what retains people is being able to offer benefits. In this industry, we're not able to do that because our margins are so tight. If she can't get more employees, it could mean the end of her business. It's definitely hurting and it's potentially a doomer if you can't get people's quick. Well, it's not just the restaurant business that's suffering from the state's labor shortage. Everything from getting a bite to eat to life saving medical care is impacted. Coming up tonight at 10 p.m., we'll show you how it's affecting Alabamians in their daily lives and the numbers that put Alabama among the worst in the country when it comes to workforce participation.